Well, the heptathlon about to conclude. It's a seven-day event over two days. Today began with the long jump, the javelin, and coming up the 800 meters. And for a reporter how it's gone so far, let's go to Dwight. All right, Tom. First day, and it became the High Lease Fountain heptathlon. As she sets an American heptathlon record in the 100-meter hurdles, 12.65. That would have medaled in every Olympics except Athens. And she clears 5.11 a quarter in the high jump. She is a 6'2 high jumper. And then in the third event, the shot put, another lifetime best as she extends her lead. In the final event of the first day, the 200 meters and her third personal best of the day for 3,989 points and a 239-point lead over Diana Pickler and Jackie Johnson. And then Dawn's day two, and she picks up where she leaves off. First event, the long jump, and on her very first jump, an all-time best, 22 feet, 7 inches for Fountain. Dan O'Brien is the helping coach Jackie Johnson, the four-time NCAA champion at ASU. She just graduated, and she's a decent javelin thrower, and she throws very close to her personal best as she long jumped close to her personal best, 156.6, and she remained in second place. Then Fountain in the sixth event, the javelin. And what does she do? Just another all-time best. Five personal bests in six events for Hailey Fountain. She is going to score over 6,700 points. She would have to fall down several times in the 800 to not win this national title and book her ticket to Beijing. She was fourth at the trials four years ago. Jackie Johnson of ASU solidly in second, and the real race is between for the third spot. All those ladies at the top four have an A standard for Beijing, but look, only 20 points separating Diana Pickler from Gigi Johnson, and Gigi is an excellent 800-meter runner. All right, Dwight, so there is Hylise Fountain, who is, uh, as you said, barring catastrophe on her way to a most impressive performance here at the Olympic Trials after finishing in the worst spot imaginable, fourth last time around and so, she's going to about to send a message to the rest of the world probably so and, and and as dwight mentioned a strong 800 meter runner has a best of 216.79 in competition here so let's see if she can re reduplicate that jackie johnson also appears to be firmly ensconced in second place and as dwight said the battle between diana pickler and gg johnson gg johnson would need to beat pickler by about a second and a half to pass her for third place in the final trip to Beijing. And it'll be important for these ladies to establish some position. Just think about this, folks. Now, this is the seventh competition in two days. So you've already contested six events, and somehow you have to find enough energy to run this thing with purpose and to make sure that you've got focus and attention on splits because now a trip to the Olympics is on the line. Racing against a table that gives us uh, scores, except in the case of uh, Johnson and Pickler, who uh, head to head, as we said, G.G. Johnson needs to beat be Diana Pickler about a second and a half in this 800 meters in order to take the third spot. You see G.G. Johnson out to the front. G.G. Johnson with Diana Pickler second. So the two combatants, first and second now, with the battle for third place on the line. It looks like Fountain will win it, and Jackie Johnson second. So the battle is for third between the two up front. G.G. Johnson, who leads Diana Pickler. And G.G. Johnson's personal best in the 800 in the midst of a heptathlon is 216.55. Pickler's is a little bit slower, 219.08, and so she'll have to find a way to run a personal best to make the Olympic team. Johnson leading Pickler in that battle for the third and final spot. Right. Well, I think the fact of the matter is that two and a half seconds really separate their personal best. And these conditions down here, as you guys know, it's in the mid-80s and very humid. It's just really a matter of who has the most amount of heart. That's what we're going to find right here as Gigi Johnson is starting to try to gap Diana Pickler. Pickler knows she has to stay within a couple of strides in order to book her ticket to Beijing. She was in Osaka last summer. Here they are into the home straightaway, and G.G. Johnson leading Diana Pickler. Who will go to Beijing? G.G. Johnson needs to win it by about a leap, uh, by about a second and a half. And here they come. She's still pulling away. Who will make the trip to Beijing? Well, G.G. Diana Pickler finishing second. Fountain and Jackie Johnson coming across the finish line with the first and second spots wrapped up. And now it will go to the watches and the scoring table to determine who goes to Beijing.